My name is Rebecca Westfall and I'm the co-director of international admissions for Yale College. Um, I handle all of Europe, Eurasia, Central Asia and Sub-Saharan Africa and uh, I'm in my fifth year of, of admissions. Um, I do handle of course all of the UK applications and uh, travel here every year visiting schools and meeting with students. Yale is a medium-sized research institution in New Haven, Connecticut, which is about an hour and a half north of New York City. We have about 11,000 students, 5,500 in undergrads and 5,500 graduate students. And we have 13 different uh, graduate and professional schools. That includes the law school, the medical school, uh, the School of Drama, the School of Music and so forth. Um, Yale is well known for um, lots of different things. The most popular undergraduate majors are Econ, Political Science and History. Um, Yale has invested uh, almost half a billion dollars in the sciences and engineering recently, making research opportunities available for students even in their first year. Um, I think one thing that characterizes Yale are the kind of people that go there. Yaleys are known for their vibrancy and their enthusiasm uh, inside the classroom and outside of the classroom. If you want more flexibility, if you want more choice, if you want to be in an atmosphere where students cooperate with each other, where they work with each other, not against each other, um, you might uh, con consider Yale for those, for those reasons. I think one of the things, especially for UK students coming to the US for undergraduate education, it offers much more than just an education in the classroom. And I think um, I went from the UK to the US for university and wanted much more flexibility and choice in what I was doing. And because of the liberal arts curriculum, I was able to do that. Um, they give you more time to really figure out what it is that you want to do because uh, so many 17 year olds have absolutely no idea. The US bachelor's degree is a four year program for the most part. At Yale you can do master's degrees also in four years or even five years in some programs. Um, but I think the, the opportunities in the US you, you don't realize until you get there how vast they are. With the number of US institutions available, there's so much choice. And there's a lot of support for international students, not just financially, but in, in many other ways as well. So um, it's the life in the classroom with the addition of the life outside of the classroom, which I think makes US institutions so valuable and uh, such a wonderful uh, resource. International students at Yale make up about 10% in Yale College and about 30% in the entire university, including the graduate schools. And uh, we find that our international students bring such an enormous amount to the campus. Um, and we find also that, of course, Yale can offer our international students so much. So we always try for as much geographic diversity as possible in the incoming class. Um, we love our international students. They add to the life of the residential colleges, to the classes, to the various extracurriculars. Um, there's lots of different international student organizations at Yale. So our international students are an incredible part, an important part of our community at Yale. Specifically from the UK, uh, we have a large number of applications every year from all sorts of different uh, schools, independent and, and state schools. Um, and our UK students are, are very well prepared for the, for the Yale curriculum and we find they do extremely well. So the first thing when we look at an application, we're always going to look at the academics first. And um, sort of everything else comes one step behind that. Uh, so academically, students from the UK should really be predicted A's at A-levels or mostly sixes and sevens in IB. It's important for us that we see uh, two teacher recommendations, that extracurriculars are detailed in the application, the essays are very important. The way in which we look at an application is very holistic 
and so all of the pieces are looked at together. There is an interview process as well. So, but the most important thing that we're always going to look at first is, is the transcript and record of grades at school. UK students applying to us should be thinking about what they can do to make the most of the resources available in their school. And so, you know, whenever we look at an application, we're always looking within the context of the school and the country, actually. Um, some schools restrict the number of A-levels that students can take, can take, and we definitely need to know about that when you apply. Um, but we're always looking for students to challenge themselves. I think a minimum number of A-levels, of course, for many UK student would be three, uh, but we do see more than that uh, from many students. It really just depends what your school wants you to do, what they restrict you from doing and so forth, but it's important that we, we know about that when you apply. I think the most important thing is that you write with a genuine and thoughtful voice when you write an essay. Um, I've probably read, I don't know, maybe 10,000 essays by this point. Um, and the essays that work well are uh, when the student is very, very genuine uh, in their writing. And if you find something, there's no right topic. You have to find something that means a lot to you, that will tell us a little bit more about you personally, not just your academic interests, not just a list of your extracurricular activities, but um, something that will really give us a sense of what you're like as a person. When we look at an application at Yale, we're very interested in not just the academic side of a student, but the personal side of a student. And, um, so that's why all those, all those pieces in the application are, are in place and the essays are a very important part of that. Essays are usually about 500 words. We don't stop reading at word 500, but we do encourage you to be succinct um, as much as you can. And if you're creative, be creative. If you're funny, be funny. If you're not funny, don't try. Um, but be true to yourself in, in your essays, be, be genuine, that's, that's probably the best advice I can give for writing an essay. Funding available for international students. At Yale we are need blind and need based for all students no matter what their citizenship is. So we offer need blind admissions which means that when we look at an application we pay no attention to the financial circumstances of the student. Uh, we admit the student based solely on their academic and personal qualities. Um, Need-based financial aid means that once we have admitted the student, we base the amount of financial aid we're going to give to the student on their family income, their annual family income. Most of our international students, or a large proportion of them, are on financial aid and the average uh, financial aid award was over $40,000 this year. Uh, Yale gives out almost $100 million in financial aid every year and uh, we're very fortunate that we can bring students from, from around the world uh, without having to be concerned about whether or not they can actually pay to come to Yale. Um, in addition, we also offer international students a flight home every year as part of their financial aid packet. And uh, of, if you are receiving financial aid, we also offer lots of different jobs on campus. I think the minimum wage is something about 11.60 an hour this year. So, if we admit you to Yale, we really want you to be able to come, and our financial aid reflects that. My top admissions tip would be don't get caught up in the frenzy of applying to US universities and the whole um, frenzy of the application process. Be true to yourself, be genuine. We value authenticity a great deal. We really want to see you as a person. Don't tell us what you think we want to hear. We want to hear whatever you have to give us. Um, so I think, again, the same as I said with the essay, be, be genuine. We have represented Yale at US College Day for a long time now. We do come most years. And it's a great way to see lots of students all at once. 
um, a great way to pick up lots and lots of information and then spend time, of course, going through it later. Most of the people at US College Day are admissions officers or alumni, so you're really going straight to the source. You can easily find out uh, information and get your questions answered. But I think it's fantastic that there are so many universities that come here and um, talk to the students.